Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Do you wanna, I want to ask about uh, the... Uh, it was some. I heard it somewhere that your parents like they they eat o they ate over at privy. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. at at that restaurant. Is is that true or, or before all of this happened? Was they yeah, frequent before, in that restaurant? No, that, that one time and it was for a birthday party. I mean, what type of connection is that? I don't I don't see it. So everybody eats there. So what does that mean? I mean, people have ate there before, had birthday parties there before. What would that have to do with anything? I I don't understand. Why they would even be brought up? That has nothing to do with Dolph's murder. You know, everybody's yeah. trying to put put that connection some kind mm-hmm. of way to CMG, but there is no connection. We have never been in the company of them like that. We don't. We not no close connect. It's none of that is going on. We don't know these people besides how the the world knows them. Yeah, period. yeah. Well, you know, like I said, um, the the do, when you. When you look at uh, just growth, do you think you guys are, are you guys going to try to open up other oh, stores? I, uh, I knew you would get it back. <laughs> other other locations like oh, around yeah. Memphis, are y'all still trying to press to build that business up throughout? Well, the business, I'm I'm going to tell, you, I'm gonna be honest with you, the business really hasn't suffered like people so think. Did, did it skyrocket when I this mean, happened, it or did, did, it, it did scaled? Some, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna tell you, and people gonna look at people been looking at this as bad. My dad said it, but people been looking at this as so terrible for him to say. But he he, he said that um, he had a, a conversation with Dolph. It was like a personal conversation. He came in the store, and my dad was by himself that day, and, he, and Dolph told him, he said, man, I'm going to do something for y'all, man. I'm going to put y'all on the map. I'm going to make y'all famous. That was two years before, you know, his assassination. I mean, so, you know, my dad was like, well, shit, I thought he was talking about a, a, a music video or something. He was going to show Makita's, you know. Yeah. I didn't think. That even like now, and that's how we got to look at like right now, this man is showing us so much love, but it's just in, it, we just hate the way it had to happen. Yeah. But you do see that everybody is supporting us. Like people don't, it's a lot of people that don't even know us that feel like in the bottom of their heart, like out there, like it's no way we could have done that. It's no way we could have set that man or hurt that man. That man was supporting us. So I guess they feel like, you know, Dolph, you know, thought you guys were good enough, you know, to support why, you know, hey, we need to do the same thing. And that's what people have been doing. People just been reaching out. So the stuff that people are saying on the blogs, they may think that, I guess they think everybody's supposed to be with them. Like millions of people supposed to unite, you know, but no, nah, that's not what's popping. You know, people people got their own mind and they thinking for themselves. And, and in their minds, they're thinking, no, absolutely not. Why would they do something this cruel? You know, yeah. Well, so. I, I, like I said, it, it, go ahead. I, I know you got that question. No, um, when they had arrested um, person of interest at first, mm. did that even ease any of the tension that was coming y'all's way? No. So did no. it get worse? Oh yeah. So they still wanted to make and oh, and, yeah. and and like I said, most stuff that I was seeing, it was just it was you and your boyfriend or you and your artist. So you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just did that. Because you type would of think pressure. that that would took off some of the pressure because then you know off. they found somebody else and like okay, well he did it, not y'all. Yeah, but it, they had to find some kind of connection to that. Have the, did the did did the police uh, or did in- investigators question you? No. N- they they pretty much didn't question you or nobody in your guys' family or no. Only, the only ones they questioned were the ones that, that was there. Were there. And they had to make a statement. That was it. We haven't had to do any questioning because there's nothing to question because they have the footage. What's the point when we have everything right here in our face and we know it's no way that you guys could have done this? What, if you could go back and, and, and is there anything in this whole process that you feel like you – would have, yeah, done would, would have done differently. Only thing that I said, and I said that on um, on uh, Skull's channel, just say no to Skull. Shout out to Skull. Shout out to Skull, um, man. That's much love to Skull. Uh, I said that on his channel. Only thing that I felt like I should have done differently was I shouldn't have talked to the press when I did in the beginning. That was it. That video I can bring up. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, I'm I'm kind of like the spokesperson person for my family. So when my mom, because my mom was sitting on the side of me, she didn't want to talk. It was people just constantly coming up, can get get a statement, get a statement. And then you got folks coming and saying, hey, y'all got to say something, man. This just happened in y'all shop. Y'all got to say something. And what people don't know, which I actually did stay on scope, man, that interview was probably about 10, 15 minutes long. Y'all only saw two minutes. They chopped that interview up some serious. It was to the point when everybody started talking about it. I was like, well, damn, what did I say? I had to go back and listen to it mm-hmm. because I'm trying to figure out how y'all come to this conclusion that we did it. What did I say? And when I went back, I'm like, hold up. I, 
I never told this lady that my dad was kneeling by Dolph and tried to re- revive him. I never said that. Like, hold on, where you get that? Like, I'm just trying to figure out where they got that stuff from. So, you know, that right there, that's the only thing I feel bad about. Like, okay, well, I probably shouldn't. I, yeah, and I apologized about that. I even apologized to the naysayers. I said, y'all, I'm sorry that y'all felt like I overstepped, and I feel like that too. I apologize to y'all, but... My family had nothing to do with this. You think they wanted to hear that? They ain't trying to hear that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.